Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. Today is shampoo day for my braids. I've had them in about two weeks. Um, I think it's been two weeks to the day today. So I'm going to shampoo. I'm going to jump in the shower, but I wanted to show y'all what I'll be using. I'm going to be using um, the Refresh Deep Cleansing Shampoo, which is in the Bio Jones line. Um, this is great for braids because I know me personally, when I tend to get braids, I tend to put a lot of product on my hair because I'm spraying the braid spray, I'm putting oil in there, I'm putting leave-in conditioner on there. And, you know, so there, oh, when you do that daily, that can add up to a lot of buildup, okay? So I'm going to be using the Refresh Deep Cleansing Shampoo to remove all of that and to give me a nice clean scalp, all right? Then I'm going to put some moisturizing conditioner in there. This is from the Braid and Extensions line. See, Braid and Extensions collection. All right, I'm gonna put that in there second. Uh, this is basically similar to the replenishing conditioner, okay? So after I put that in there, I'm gonna towel dry and then I'm going to oil my scalp again and put leave-in conditioner on her afterwards, okay? So it's very important to still take care of your hair even when you have braids. I know a lot of people just don't shampoo their hair when they have braids, you know, and that's probably why your scalp just starts itching so badly, okay? So you always want to shampoo it, condition it, um, but the great thing about that is you don't have to style it. So for those of y'all that like to work out, you sweat profusely in your scalp or you just sweat at night and so your scalp is always wet, this is great for that, all right? And this is also great for if you have a wig that's kind of old, you want to, you know, bring it back to life. These products are good for, for that too, all right? So, another tip. I want to just get my scalp, I want to focus on my scalp and my hair. So there's no need really in me bringing the shampoo all the way to the ends. My hair probably stops about right here, right at my chin, okay? Um, if I just want to be generous, I may come like down to here, but I have a bob, so my hair is it's probably starts right here. So I'm going to shampoo this. Now, of course, the shampoo is going to, you know, rinse down on the wrist, but it's really no need in me keeping this synthetic. This is all the synthetic hair down here. There's no point in me keeping that clean. All right. I'm only focused on my hair. So I'm going to put it in, um, make sure I get my, my scalp. Okay, make sure I get my scalp really good. Let's just pretend I'm shampooing. I'm just showing y'all. Because when I jump in the shower, of course, I'm not going to have a camera in there. All right, so shampoo, 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 shampoo. It's about right here. You know, make sure. Again, right here. And then I'll rinse. I'll do that twice. And then when I put the conditioner in there again, I'll put the conditioner in there and I'll stop about right here because i mean you'll use a whole bottle up of shampoo and conditioner trying to go all the way down to the ends and, and again that's not your hair all right so as you see i'm itching right here so i can't wait to get these braids shampooed all right so when i put the conditioner in i'm gonna make sure uh um because you know where the ends of your hair are approximately about right here so i want to make sure i get at least to the ends work my way up then i'll rinse that out towel dry i'll come back when i towel dry okay so be right back all right you guys so i am back i have just shampooed and successfully conditioned my hair so at this time i'm just gonna towel dry them a little bit towel dry them a little bit more because you know these uh this synthetic hair can kind of hold water so I'm just towel drying it a little bit more. And just beware, you guys, when you when you shampoo braids, because see, nobody told me. I had to learn the very hard way. Um, when you shampoo in these braids, they get heavy as hell. Okay? I mean, they get super heavy. So um, you want to towel dry them to get as much of that extra water out as possible. And then while I have my hair down, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my scalp. So I'm gonna start on this side. Okay. 
And I am using the By L. Jones Silky, Silky Growth Oil. And the good thing about braids is you can apply it directly to the scalp. That's what it's meant for your scalp. It helps uh, to stimulate the circulation of blood flow in your scalp. So you don't really have to put it on the hair. You want it on your scalp so that it can help increase that blood flow circulation, which in turn helps the hair grow faster. All right, so once you, and I always tell people when you have protective style like braids, this is the time to take advantage of oiling your scalp on a regular basis because a lot of times when you try to oil your scalp, when you like to wear your hair down, like I like to wear my hair down when it's not braided. So, but if you oil your scalp every day, it can tend to get heavy because in addition to um, you applying oil, your hair makes its own. So you want to always, always, when you're wearing protective style, take advantage of the opportunity to oil your scalp as much as possible. Then I'm just going to apply leave-in conditioner. And I'm applying leave-in conditioner to where I think my hair stops. And this will keep it conditioned. leave-in conditioner as you want because again your hair is braided so there you have it I have shampooed conditioned oiled my scalp and applied leave-in conditioner and that's it so the only thing I have to do now is style so I'll probably let it um, stay down for just a little while and then I'll put it up in a bun all right so I hope this video helped you all and I will see you all next time be sure to comment like and subscribe to the channel talk to y'all later bye, -bye.